The minority leader of the United States Senate threatened two associate justices of the U.S. Supreme Court, period. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you. Madam President, I'm not sure where to start. There is nothing to call this except a threat. And there's absolutely no question to whom, to whom it was directed. Contrary to what the Democratic leader has since tried to claim, he very, very clearly was not addressing Republican lawmakers or anyone else. There's no other way to interpret that. Even worse, the threat was not clearly political or institutional. As I'll discuss in a moment, these kinds of threats are sadly nothing new from Senate Democrats. Now, Madam President, I just listened to the Republican leader, and there was a glaring omission in his speech. He did not mention what the rally yesterday, my speech, or the case before the court was about, a woman's constitutional right to choose. To the women of America, what we're talking about here, what I am fighting for here is your right to choose, an issue, of course, Leader McConnell completely ignored in his speech. I feel so passionately about this issue, and I feel so deeply the anger of women all across America about Senate Republicans in the courts working hand in glove to take down Roe v. Wade. I just read about a woman in Shreveport who, under the Louisiana law, now before the Supreme Court, would have to travel over 300 miles to exercise her constitutional freedoms. And this is happening in states across the country. Republican state legislatures are restricting a woman's right to choose so severely as to make it non-existent. And the courts are now likely to go along because Senate Republicans have confirmed nominees they believe will strip away a women's rights and fundamentally change this country, going so far as to deny a duly elected president the right to pick a Supreme Court justice. Republicans are afraid here in the Senate to confront this issue directly, so they try to accomplish through the courts what they'd never accomplish in the court of public opinion, and they leave women out in the cold. So yes, I am angry. The women of America are angry. And yes, we will continue to fight for a woman's right to choose. I will continue to fight for the women of America. Now, I should not have used the words I used yesterday. They didn't come out the way I intended to. My point was that there would be political consequences, political consequences, for President Trump and Senate Republicans if the Supreme Court, with the newly confirmed justices, stripped away a woman's right to choose. Of course, I didn't intend to, to, to suggest anything other than political and public opinion consequences for the Supreme Court, and it is a gross distortion to imply otherwise. I'm from Brooklyn. We speak in strong language. I shouldn't have used the words I did, but in no way was I making a threat. I never, never would do such a thing. And Leader McConnell knows that. And Republicans who are busy manufacturing outrage over these comments know that too.